My name is Rosmina Ayeko. Um, I'm an incoming freshman at the University of Connecticut and I'll be majoring in biomedical engineering and I'll be doing a minor in co cognitive psychology. I started schooling in Donholm Primary School where I finished my class 8 and I scored a 328 out of 500. Transitioning from primary school to Mount Lavena wasn't an easy one, especially because the students I met here were highly performing students. So when you rank us according to a KCP, I was the last person. Gradually, I was able to grow from a C minus in Form 1 to a B minus in Form 2, a B plus in Form 3, and in Form 4, where I got my first A during my KCC result. She came with 328, and then she has left with a name. It was very encouraging, even for other girls. And she also came back after the resort to talk to the girls and explain to them if she has made it, they can also make it. So that is also an inspiration that Rosmina is not just a success by herself. She's a success, but want others to succeed. When I was chosen for the leadership program, I came in as a normal scholar. And even through that process, it was, very empowering for me. I learned how to have mental grit because the application process isn't as easy as someone would think it is. It requires a lot of stamina, it requires a lot of emotional strength because when the decisions start coming in, you'll get disappointed by some, you'll get elevated by some, but the ability to remain grounded and anchored with your stamina and having that mentality that it is possible and I did my best and I will get it, that is what enabled me to stay strong throughout the process. And I finally got an admission to my first choice university, which is the University of Connecticut. It is a blessing to have Equity Leaders Program. This is something which has a great impact to these young people who perform well and are unable to achieve their dreams. It's even boosted her self-esteem. She can stand in front of people and address them. Ayeko Rosemina Adoyo, Mount Lavena Girls Secondary School, University of Connecticut. Dr. James Mwangi has been a significant uh, part of uh, my journey as a person. We had a virtual coffee chat with him after we gained admissions and talking to him and him telling us how he journeyed through and how he started uh, as just a normal person and he works through everything. It is just an encouragement and an inspiration to all of us that you can start from anywhere. Getting the wisdom from him during the airlift ceremony encouraged me to have strength and faith because getting an admission is one thing, but transitioning to school is another thing. There's a whole lot of emotions, concerned, and you know, uh, sometimes fear of whether you'll be able to fit into the community. What I hope to do is to venture into the STEM world as a woman and inspire other women that it is possible. Because when you look at the STEM uh, area, as, as far as your career is concerned, the niche of women is very low.